What's up class? Um, today we are going to be talking about um, creating our character model sheets. We're going to talk about first what a model sheet is, then we're going to talk about the purpose of a model sheet, um, and then I'm going to uh, model for you and show you what it looks like to create a model sheet. So I'm going to draw one, um, speed it up so that you guys can look at it um, as kind of an example for what, you, what you're supposed to do and what yours can look like. Um, so first, what a model sheet is. So a model sheet is a page that an artist, specifically if they're creating a story like a graphic novel, well, an artist will have for a character and it will have a drawing of that character from multiple different angles. So um, it will have a drawing of the character from a side, like a pro uh, profile picture. It'll have a drawing of the character from the front, um, maybe the other side and from the back. Um, so you can see all angles of the character. Um, but if your graphic novel is in color, at least one of your drawings needs to be in color. That way um, you will always know what colors to use on your character. So the purpose of a model sheet. The purpose is um, when we're in the process of telling a story and creating a story, you're going to be drawing the character many, many times. So um, when you're creating a story, you want the the same character to look the exact same on page one as the character is going to look on page 20. If you've ever played the game telephone before and you sit in a circle and you pass a message from one person to, to the next um, and the message changes slightly each time and it gets to the last person and the message is a completely different message by the end, um, that's what we want to avoid. So for instance, if I'm drawing the character and I make the ears on the character slightly bigger each page. If I'm only looking back one page and looking at what I drew one page ago as my reference, I'm going to continue to make that small change until that small change is a really, really big change. On page one, it might have really small ears. On page 20, it might have really, really large ears, the character. Um, and then it's going to look like a different character and that's what we want to avoid. If we always look back and reference that model, that original model sheet, um, our changes are only going to be slight and we're going to have more consistency from our character from page 1 to page 20. The other positive of a drawing sheet, a character model sheet, is that um, it allows for us to always see the different angles of our character. Um, if we only plan out our character from a frontward facing view, um, later on in the story when the character's back is facing, we might not know how to draw that. So by having all um, a few different views on your model sheet, it's going to allow for you as an artist to have the different angles available to reference when you're drawing. Um, the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to switch from this camera. I'm going to use my character, Captain Craters, that I've talked about, and I'm going to draw out um, an example of what a model sheet can look like for that character. So I'm going to begin sketching my character kind of from the frontward facing view, just the most um, obvious view to begin with. They don't have to be perfect, um, but we do want them to be pretty nice since they are going to be our reference throughout the process of making our graphic novel. This is probably going to be the angle that you reference the most. I'm going to just, from this first drawing, just draw from kind of the shoulders up. This is going to be okay for today. Notice I'm a lot more free-flowing when it gets to the, the fabric on the inside of the character. I've noticed on astronauts they often have this kind of a pack on, on the front of them. I don't really know what it does, but it looks cool and futuristic. 
I like to imagine that it's like a control panel. And you're gonna draw this in whatever style you're gonna use in your comic book, so in your graphic novel. So don't draw this with more detail or more um, like information or more than you're than you would be willing to put into your comic book. So for instance, if your comic book is going to be a little more cartoony, then don't spend too much time drawing an incredibly realistic figure or character. So for my side angle drawing, I'm actually going to um, draw a little more of the full body since at times there may be a full body in in the comic book. Okay, and that gives us an idea somewhat of what the character might look like from a side view. Okay, and then the last angle I'm going to draw for my reference sheet is going to be um, similar to this where it's just them the shoulders up and I'm gonna actually draw it um, backwards facing. I notice here that the helmet um, only partially shows above the life pack on the back, so I'm going to not show the whole helmet, but just the top part of the helmet. Um, we can see now that we have a drawing of the character from multiple different angles. If your comic book is going to be in color, um, then you need to color at least one of the characters. Since I put the most detail in this kind of forward facing one here, I'm probably going to add some color to that one. And you can see I'm trying to mimic the style that I plan on using in my comic book so I can always um, reference that. And it looks like we are just about done with our modeling sheet. Um, so again, I drew my character from multiple different angles and I had at least one of the characters um, with the same coloring that I'm going to be using in my graphic novel.